Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be taking a look at the vidIQ keyword research tool. If you would like to follow along, vidIQ does come with the ability to try them for free. I will leave a link down below in my description. So once you are logged in, you can go simply go to keywords right here. I'm just going to be in the top keyword opportunities. Right off the bat, this is going to be a great section. And given the fact it's linked to your YouTube channel, it's going to go in and say like, hmm, what can you possibly create some videos for that are actually related to what you've already done? And this is what it's all about. I'm sure I'll get a better definition if I do this, but let's read it. Our algorithm identify keywords keywords that are opportunities for your channel. Use these keywords as ideas for your video content. You can always click the manage button on the right to improve and personalize the opportunities we suggest to you. So that's always a good thing in case you want to change that around. But let's go through and just as you can see, there are a lot of these that are very relevant. You know, some of these are very similar. Lad chat GPT stuff, affiliate marketing, making money, AI, Jasper, Canva, SEMrush, Teachable, more Jasper stuff, Surfer, Chat Sonic, online courses, a lot of these things I have created videos for that are very similar to it. So that is always a good thing. And what I want to do is just kind of expand upon even more how you can dive deeper into the keyword research aspect. Something I like doing is just simply going on a keyword. You can type it in or if there's one here, just simply click on it. So I'm going to click on chat GPT because that is super popular. And as you can see, we're going to have, I'll just hover over this. So the overall score is determined to help gauge how effective this keyword would be in your video optimization efforts. If you have a 1 million plus subscriber channel, I don't, <laughs> you might be able to break into highly competitive search terms, but if you are a smaller channel, it's better to stay focused on the mid range search terms with low competition. So I agree with that. Like if chat GPT is the main keyword you're going after, probably not going to do it with a much smaller channel, but the great thing about this is that we have related terms, we have matching terms, and we have questions. I think questions is a great aspect here because a lot of people will search those not only into Google, but YouTube. And I feel like there's not a lot of videos optimized for them because either they're too short or maybe you know someone wants to create something that's much longer. I will click on this and we can see what we have for these suggestions for questions. So anything related to it. So in case I didn't show you this before, we have our search volume, our competition. So the lower is going to be better. Overall is going to be the uh, how attractive it is. It's kind of like the competitive score, right? And of course, number of words. So not really, not like that matters too much, but it is what it is. So scrolling down here, something that might be uh, low competition. Let's do that. We can go this way. So we have no competition. There we go. Very low. How to use Zapier with ChatGPT. That's a really good one. I like that because Zapier is very common and popular amongst business owners. And there's probably not a lot of content about that. But if you look at it, the search volume is still pretty good. So right off the bat, that was a really good one. How to make a resume on ChatGPT. How to write a blog post. More blogs. How to get ChatGPT+. Chat GPT plus. We have some Spanish stuff going on here. How to make a I guess PPT, PowerPoint with ChatGPT, how to use plugins with it, how to log in without a phone number, more plugins, how to upload files. And you'll notice as we go down, you're going to start seeing some of the like uh, orangey yellow, which means it's more of like a medium competition, right? How to write a video script. But look at all these great questions that you could literally just create a video about by itself. I'm going to scroll up and go back one. All right, so we also had related keywords. These might be questions, but overall, these are going to mostly be the questions, but let's click on the related right here. Okay, you'll notice like the overall, these are going to be much higher, so a little bit more difficult. Let's go to competition again, so very high. So the lower it is, excuse me, the lower it is, the harder it's going to be. The higher we want green is going to be better, so something like this. So writing assistance, let's see, we got some stock stuff. We're going to get a little bit more broad here, but that's fine. What I want to do is go back and I'm just going to actually type in a keyword. So let's just do like online courses, enter. Okay, related keywords. So this is what I like about this. It's so much keyword research for you and it's all just here. What you pretty much need to do, as long as you can enter in a seed keyword and that's kind of like chat GPT or online courses or teachable or whatever it's going to be, it's going to give you a lot more keyword examples that you can use from it. So let's look at all of our questions. And let's sort by the lower competition again. These really don't have a whole lot going on there, but how to sell my online courses on LinkedIn, how to repurpose online courses. That's a great one. The search value might be a little bit low and keep in mind, these are always ballpark numbers. They're never going to be like 100% exact, 
but it gives you a good idea how they compare to some of the other ones. How to use paid ads for online courses, how to sell my online courses on Udemy, and so on and so forth. A lot of these are long tail keywords, and I love that because they are very targeted. While they might not get as much volume as just say like selling online courses, if you do how much can you make from selling online courses, you're getting a keyword that is very specific. And I like those specifically, especially when I do a lot of website stuff, because a lot of people don't optimize for them. So if you create an article or in this scenario, a video just on it, it's much easier to rank, especially with the low competition aspect. And these go on for a very long time. As we go on, they get uh, more challenging and more challenging. Really depends on where your channel is, how many subscribers you have, how many views you can get, and so on and so forth. But that's a very quick overview of the vidIQ keyword research tool. I love it. It's easy to use. There's not a whole lot going on here, but you don't really need a whole lot. It's more of typing in your seed keyword, getting some great information from it and saying like, I want to make a video about this, this, that. Of course, you can copy them, put them in a, a notepad, and then you know just do your thing. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I think you're really going to like this feature uh, as much as I do. And it gets even better when it comes to the keyword research. I will do another video about that when it comes to trending views or trending videos. So you'll have to wait around to see that. Nevertheless, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to check out vidIQ, I will leave my link down below in the description. Enjoy.